Hello and welcome to the Google Data Cloud Summit. We are joined here today by Paul Graves, head of orchestration um, and automation at Virgin O2. We're excited to talk about SkySQL and uh, all the business innovation that Virgin's doing um, currently. Paul, welcome. Um, it's exciting to be here with you guys and we love the fact that we've been able to do such great business with you guys. Great to be here too. Thank you very much. So why don't we kick off, um, maybe you can talk a little bit about sort of the previous state of the business, some of the problems that you guys were facing um, and the requirements that you guys had in order to take your business forward. Yes, so it goes back uh, several years, uh, back to 2010 to be precise, where we were building a new uh, Wi-Fi platform for, for O2 and the, the success of the business was... Um, was, was so good and so fast that uh, the demand that we, uh, we we got from our customer base grew. Um, with that, we um, had a huge scale database problem on our hands. And in addition to that, we had a number of DBAs over the years um, changing hands and it was contractors and FTEs. So getting a stable database in place, uh, managing it, growing it, updating it, all the uh, normal things that you have to do with the databases became quite a big burden for us to manage, especially it being a 24-7 um, environment because a, a lot of our customers run 24-7, 365 days of the year. So the requirements uh, for me personally were, were quite high. The level was set very high and the demand on the database being the core part of our infrastructure uh, was, was significant. So... Over a period of years, with the growth being so big, we, uh, we started to see a number of issues, a few bottlenecks, not understanding where the bottlenecks were coming from. And then from there, we, we started to see that we needed to change what our original strategy was. So in um, 2018, I think it was, we started talking with MariaDB and SkySQL um, as our provider of the database platform. And we were introduced to the new cloud database, SkySQL. And from there, we, we spent a good six months working out um, what we wanted to do with it and how we could use it and what risks we had to, uh, to, to look towards. And, and, and from that, we spent a good three to six months testing in parallel the, the performance of what the SkySQL could do for us in comparison to what we had on premise. And the outcome was that the performance was enhanced with SkySQL. And in addition to that, we actually saw a cost saving from what we were doing in terms of running on premise compared to what we were doing in the cloud. Mm -hmm. And by that, it's the resources, the time, the uptime, the maintenance, mm -hmm. and the general stability of the platform is what we started to look for. And the benefit was we got an, an operational cost saving at the end of the, uh, well, well, once we closed down the on-premise, we saw um, a significant operational OPEX cost saving to our business, which is a, a great bonus um, that we, we achieved. So yeah, yeah in, in a nutshell, that was the, the story <laughs> of the last 10 to 12 years. And so far, we've had uh, no issues, no major issues, definitely not no major issues. And I can now... Um, sleep better again at night, <laughs> knowing that it's being managed and taken care of as a service to us. When you think about like the, the, the previous state of your data and maybe some of the sprawl that you guys had when you were trying to get all this thing aligned, um, to what extent does like visibility into the data matter to you guys? It's like a centralized sort of view of what's going on, how it's going, you know, keeping things that don't keep you up at night and really help you to kind of sleep more peacefully. Oh. Almost, almost definitely. The, the visibility um, in the past was quite small, quite uh, you know, the amount we could see what we knew about what was happening with the data and the platform and so on was, was quite minor. And that was another big change from moving into the managed database world where the visibility we received instantly from going live was far outweighed what we had, what we ever had uh, on premise. And it started to show us um, 
where we could make improvements to certain applications, mm-hmm. whereas previous to that, we were blind. So it, it, it enhanced what we had immediately. Yeah. I know what, another element of, you know, sort of your implementation was the concept of utilizing what we call SkyDBA, but really having a team of 24-7 outsourced database managers to really help you guys tune, optimize, get the right visibility into your deployment of SkySQL. Um, could you speak a little bit about how much that has impacted the way you're able to migrate and drive success? Oh, almost definite. So um, we did one, there was a huge, huge change. We had a six hour change window to do the migration and our change windows are midnight till six <laughs> in the morning. And we used the guys in the US from your business, your company, and they knew about our, our requirements. They worked with us for a period of four hours while we did the data tr- uh, transition across into, into the cloud. Uh, the build of it, we sat back, watched it happen for us, and then we started migrating our applications one by one across to the to the new databases being built in, in SkySQL. So the, the 24-7 side of, of things makes a massive difference to, to me personally uh, and to our business where we, we, we don't clock off at 5 p.m. The database carries on running, right. but round the clock, your service is 24 seven for us. So we can go home knowing that it's being managed, which is a huge plus um, to our business. Yeah, that's fantastic. So now that you've kind of gone through these initial phases of test, deployment, moving into production, you know, where do you see the business evolving to and how is SkySQL do you think gonna help you to get there, especially as you think about the cloud um, and having the dexterity to really work in the cloud as you guys see fit? Okay, so so one one of um, one of our strategies that we're looking to do in in certain parts of the business is to utilize more in the cloud, mm-hmm. and that's not just from a database perspective; it's it's more application as well, um, and infrastructure. So we have hybrid models um, utilizing cloud services. So in, in the future, there's de- definitely going to be more business um, from a, a database as a service point of view um, that we, we we will utilize, no doubt. That makes a ton of sense. So when you think about obviously some of the value around SkySQL, I'd imagine having a, a solution that and a service that truly is multi-cloud gives you guys the confidence that you can really drive the business wherever you see is going to get the most value. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So high availability, mm-hmm. DR sites, um, they're just some of the default things that you expect to have right. in a business um, rather than an afterthought, in which case you're in a lot of problems. Um, but yes, definitely uh, across multiple clouds, uh, including hybrid models as well, is something that we uh, we look into. That's fantastic. Um, and when you, when you look at it, think obviously a business with the size of Virgin O2 and the amount of data that you guys see on a regular basis, how do you envision the concept of modern architecture, modern applications and the requirements that they'll have on a database to truly be able to scale? And does, it, does SkySQL give you the sort of confidence that you future-proof your investment for the direction you may need to go? Yes, yeah, so we, we've already changed um, our SkySQL model a few times in the last few years. Um, and for us, it's, a, it's an easy decision to make because we don't have to do anything other than say what we need. Um, by that downscaling or upscaling, um, it, it's it's all taken care of, care for. It. It's all taken care of from the um, from the service that we get from you guys. That's fantastic. And I guess the, the last question that I have is: I know as you guys think about budgets and you know how you how you guys are aligning against different spend, the power of the being able to utilize something like Sky SQL through a centralized commitment to a big player like GCP, I think was critical in the last buying phase. So how does the marketplace help you guys be able to sort of centralize your buying power and give you the dexterity to be able to really think about an integrated cloud stack in GCP? Okay, so, so the marketplace that we have um, at the minute, the agreements that we have with SkySQL are, are quite unique, but it's still purchased through the marketplace. So yeah. the one thing that um, we, we received as a service, which is more of a personalized service as well from, from SkySQL, is our requirements were um, not option A or option B from marketplace. It was an option of B.5, for example, right. <laughs> and that was tailored for our, our specific needs at that time. So it just shows the flexibility that we have um, with uh, with the two businesses together. That's fantastic. Um, 
Well, we really appreciate your time, Paul. This is a, this is a, it, our, our partnership with Google has been fantastic. I'd say that the business that we've done um, with Virgin O2 has, has really been a great stamp and confirmation of all the vision that we were trying to build towards. And I think that driving customer value with GCP is ultimately, you know, the key goal that we have and really delivering cloud scale on SkySQL, working with GCP, I think is, uh, this is just a really great validation of everything that we're trying to do. And we really appreciate your business. Fantastic news. Thank you very much. Thank you.